I am James, uh, I'm a senior designer at Puma Team Sport and this is uh, the first Arsenal jersey that I worked on. To work on something as iconic, especially as the home shirt with the red and the white sleeves, um, it was like you know, a lot of enjoyment, a lot of pride to bring it to, bring it to life. Arsenal have won the FA Cup twice wearing Puma and um, they're lifting trophies in something that we've designed. It's, it's a, as a personally as a designer, it's an amazing feeling. Um, you'd be being part of the club's history. So the design process, we start with concepts and we would look into the technologies, uh, what innovations do we have, fabrics, fit, things like this. Uh, there's a balance between um, performance and also style. We speak to the athletes, so we go to Arsenal's training ground and we speak to them directly. What do they want? They, they want things that give them performance on field to do the best of up for their job, but also they want to look good too. Then we start delving into what does Arsenal stand for? And then we start looking into colour, crests, uh, collars. So when we start getting this onto the table, then um, we can start illustrating these ideas down and bring in what's in our head onto paper. So we'd start with hand-drawn sketches because it's always the easiest and quickest way to get your ideas down. Then the next stage is get into 3D and then after this is get into Illustrator. The reasoning behind the new shade of red for the new jersey was all about looking into the past and learning the years. So uh, looking into the different shades of red they've had, um, not going as, da as dark as originally, not going as, as light as current, but like trying to find a nice, a nice red that represented Arsenal. We added a collar this time and we utilise the same fabrics that we use in the body so that it's nice and fitted and it's performing. But also the way that we've done the button and the placket is that when it's open, it doesn't look messy. It's not, it's not gaping open, it's nicely fitted. It's, it's one of those things, if you put a collar on a jersey, you want to look smart. Whether it's buttoned up, not everyone does this, so it looks smart when it's not buttoned too. On the arms, we have the form stripe. This is um, built up by silhouettes of the Arsenal crest, so we're trying to build in the Arsenal crest into, into also into the Puma DNA of how we do our shirts. And then right in the centre there's a little crest that runs straight down the arm. Arm finishes at the cuff with a, with a rib. I see the guys have big biceps so it sort of defines the, the size of the arms a little bit more. And then it's just a, finished with a bit of tipping that sort of highlights the, the Arsenal crest that runs back up the arm. The little details also come from the story. Um, like I say, if it's an anniversary, the reason that we put the cannon on the back yoke of the shirt was we wanted to celebrate the 50 years since the cannon first came onto the Arsenal jersey. Come on now, you know it makes sense. Subscribe. <laughs>